This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Sandra Ali. Here's a look at your top headlines on this Wednesday. Happening now in West Michigan, parts of the area under a state of emergency. This after multiple tornadoes touched down last night. A FedEx facility in Portage was one of the hardest hit areas. At least 50 people were trapped inside the building for a while, but they did all get out safely. Now, we, we would like everybody to shelter in place right now. We don't need people driving around on the streets and, and looking at things, although it's interesting to see. Right now, it's still a little bit dangerous. In Detroit, police have zeroed in on a suspect in the disappearance of 13-year-old Naziah Harris. The man is a Wayne County Jail inmate. He's currently accused of sexually abusing a 7-year-old girl. Harris was last seen getting off her school bus on Detroit's east side back in January. Testimony continues later this morning in Jalen Brazier's murder trial. He's accused of killing his cousin, 17-year-old Zion Foster, in 2022. Prosecutors say the 25-year-old discarded his cousin like trash. Defense attorneys say his actions were out of fear and bad decisions. Brazier claims she died while they were doing drugs together in East Point, and he dumped her body in a dumpster because he was afraid her body has not been found. In Oakland County, a substitute teacher with Huron Valley Schools is now accused of inappropriately touching several students. This allegedly took place at Spring Mills Elementary School in Highland. The teacher is out of the classroom right now while police continue their investigation. Video from a recent concert at the Fox Theater in Detroit now making the rounds on social media, sparking concerns over safety. Take a look at this. In the video, you can see the balcony there. It's bouncing. This happened during a Monday night concert by rapper Gunna. In a statement, Illich Sports and Entertainment says that kind of movement is common and the balcony is built to support audience members who are actively dancing. They say the theater was just inspected last month. Raising the speed limit on highways leads to more crashes on surface streets. That's according to a new report by AAA. It finds there were more speed related crashes within a one mile radius because people continued driving at high speeds when they merged from highways onto local traffic. Let's go ahead and get a look at your next weather forecast on this Wednesday with Troy. Troy, good morning. Good morning, Sandra. What a difference a day makes after yesterday's storms and severe weather. We are calming down and clearing out. We'll see a lot of sunshine today and we're going to warm up to a high of 80 degrees. Certainly a welcome change over the storms we had to deal with. We will see a chance for rain returning very late tonight into the day tomorrow. So tomorrow a couple of rounds of rain, but not so much today. Again, we're going to be clearing out. We'll see mostly sunny skies across the entire state of Michigan today and that will continue through the early evening hours and then late tonight we begin to see some clouds build and rain chances return. You see by seven in the morning on Thursday another round of showers not expecting big severe weather like we saw but we will have some of those downpours for the drive to work Thursday morning and then Thursday afternoon some lingering rain but late Thursday that begins to clear out so more of these rounds of rain coming again not for today and today we warm nicely on your block, getting up to 77 in Dundee, Livonia today to a high of 77, Dearborn all the way up to 80, Detroit getting up to a high of 80 degrees today, and even farther to the north, mild temperatures for Pontiac 73 degrees. We get up to 72 in Sandusky, Speaker today up to 73 degrees. The next seven days will show some changes. Today's high 80 with lots of sunshine, but cooling with some of that rain rolling in by Thursday, a high of only 60. Two degrees. Sandra will stay in the 60s for Mother's Day weekend. Back to you. Thank you, Troy. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later today covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV. Have a great day.